Hi everyone, so this is a quick video for the Heavenly Treasure t-shirt or sweater. Um, I worked on this in December and then I put it uh, to the side because I wasn't happy with the stiffness of the fabric. Um, this is the bit that I didn't like the way it was sitting. It was, it felt like I was wearing armor. It kind of looks like armor, but I didn't want armor. Um, so uh, this is from Post Back Post Double Crochet. And um, when I was working with 3.5 millimeter hook, it was literally ridiculous. It was, it was sitting like those uh, woolly jumpers you don't want to wear. <laughs> so um, I didn't know what the issue was. Obviously, I never worked with this stitch combination before for um, this much of a garment. So I worked with it like distributed as a ribbing or something small, you know, so when I started working with it for like um, most of the torso, I was like, hmm, this is a bit too much. Um, it's eating wool, but it's okay. It's only four ply, so it's not going to feel like, you know, like super chunky <laughs> um, garment. It's, it's going to feel like a chunky garment, but not super chunky, like super, super heavy and clunky or I don't know, getting in the way. So it's still quite a nice weight. Um, nice feel to it so I've changed from 3.5 millimeter to 5 millimeter it was a genius idea I have no idea how I came across it I just grabbed the hook and worked the sweater again <laughs> and it, it came out perfect um, so it's a top-down seamless round yoke design so it ends here and then you sl split for arms and stuff like that um, I wanted this part of it this actual bit. I wanted to design something with this and I didn't want to complicate myself with thinking for the rest of the sweater I needed more increase and then I thought mm, pause <laughs> it's too much for me. It's, sometimes uh, designs can be a bit too brainy for me so I'm like no 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 no. So I slowed down and kept it simple after this. Obviously if it's not your cup of tea uh, you might have to wait for another design where I'm still I still want to move um, I, I want to use this into um, a new design but I'm not sure what yarn what and I still have to do more thinking and I want to start without this really chunky neckline so it's gonna be complicated and I need at least a month for it and I have no idea when I'm gonna pick it up again so if you like this one purchase it if not just let it be <laughs> um, so the attraction like I said it was mostly this bit um, but I also like everything else about it. So I like this neckline I invented a few months ago. Uh, this is my favorite cuff. I'm always using this. And to that I've added my uh, favorite bottom now. So I've discovered this one um, from another designer that I purchased pattern for. It was used for a hat that I didn't actually like the look on <laughs> um, at the end when I finished it. But for the sweater it's perfect. Uh, what else? Oh yeah. I wanted a fancy, a more fancy decrease for the sleeves and the sleeves definitely needed it. Um, so what I did was create a puff sleeve or a full puff sleeve for a bit, if you can see it. And then I only decreased for half of it. So there's a decrease, it's quite obvious. Um, and yeah, it's quite cute. I like it. It's quite good, yeah, I would say. Um, if you don't want this decrease, you can do whatever you want. I mean, once you've got the pattern, you can play with it however you like anyway. Um, and yes, my favorite feature, you can actually wear it like this. <laughs> um, that's why I like the cuff. It's so practical. It's always, I think I'll always revert back to this cuff. Um, because it's practical. I like it like that. But this is going to feel quite a bit like a chunky sweater. So it's not light like um, most of my other designs. So this is like chunky. It's like serious business, um, wintry. I used wool. Oh yes, I was gonna say um, this is new to me. Never seen it before. But because it was on sale, I bought these three colors. That's included. So one, two, three, four. Um, and the next thing I did was work with these two. And then ran out of yarn. <laughs> <laughs> and then I worked with this one and ran out of yarn again. So I had to place two orders. Um, like I said, I, I didn't work with this um, stitch combination before um, 
for like an entire garment before. I, I just used it on edges and trims and things. So I didn't know it was eating so much yarn. So as soon as I started working on it, I'm wearing size large, I think. Um, I could tell that it was going to use up a bit more yarn than usual. So usually I, I use um, 400 grams, 300 something, almost 400 grams for my size for a four ply sweater. Um, but this one definitely used a lot more than that. So I've not, um, I've written it down, but I haven't got a clue how much I used. Um, yeah, so that's it. So it's a bit of a quirky sweater, but very cute. Um, I'm enjoyed the um, enjoyed the photography for it. It's um, I think the lighting outside is improving. So I'm in the UK, so I was like, woohoo, this is good. No blurry pictures. Yay. Mm, not much else to say. Oh yeah, I could show you the other colors I worked with. Hang on a sec. Right. So um, this is using <laughs> color block. If you want to play with color block. Um, obviously this is like screaming colors, so, um, I don't know why I went for it. I think that's what was on sale. So, but I'm loving this peacock blue kind of color. Um, and like I said, because I didn't order enough of it, I ended up having to start with the pink and then, oh my God, what do I do? Added blue. Um, but yeah, you don't have to do that. I mean, you can make it stripy, you can make it however you like. Um, but just to show you what the other colors look like on, and I'm loving this one actually. Looks so good. Hmm, nice. Um, oh yeah, so to finish off, I'm going to show you what I did for the bottom bit. Um, there's two options. So, this is number two. Ta-da! Isn't it cute? So what I did was literally repeat this part at the bottom so you can make it as a peplum and I'm going to show you something really awesome that's been on my mind and I can't stop thinking about it is if you want a proper peplum not just like a the edging to look cute you can bring um bring it up here so make this one up here and then add rows of, I don't know, double crochet. So that is like frilly, but more like a peplum that starts up here instead of at the bottom, see? So yeah, it's been on my mind. Um, this was the 3.5 millimeter <laughs> version that I was saying, it was stiff. It's thicker, stiffer, didn't like it. And now this is five millimeter. So I'm gonna show you the bottom edge as well for a sec. Here it is. Very pretty. Is using um I forgot it's a new stitch I work with. Um, rib stitch, yeah. So this is it. I made a new video for it. Uh, you can go and check it out on my YouTube channel. Um, I love it. It's perfect. So I'll be using this a lot in the future. And to finish off, I keep talking and talking and I forgot to show you my uh, cotton version. So I had a cotton cone in my stash. Um, no label or no nothing, so I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> but it's four ply, definitely. So the gauge is for a four ply, not, not sport, four ply. Okay, so. Um, and it's lovely. So, if you don't want to work with uh, wool or acrylics or whatever like that, uh, you can always work with cotton or bamboo and it looks fantastic, doesn't it? The definition. Mm. But make sure you meet the gauge, otherwise uh, you'll have to battle with the splits and increases or whatever, <laughs> who knows what. Um, but yeah. Also, uh, something that most people don't think about, unless they're like more avid crocheters, um, if you buy a four ply design like mine, my new ones, um, you can always make them larger by switching hooks and yarn size. So if you're, instead of four millimeter or 3.5 millimeter, you can use a um, bigger hook and bigger yarn like DK eight ply and that's it.
See you in the next one.